Hey boys, Curly here from Luke to Fish and thanks for coming to check out our trip to Gapawiak. So we started off early, about half past two in the morning with a 14 hour drive. It was a hell of a long drive, mostly dirt road. We did see a bit of arse, but really, there was a lot more dirt road. Drive was pretty good, a bit of scenery, a couple of cows, a couple of termite mounds, but there was a lot more dirt road, that's for sure. But check out this Territory Sunset, what an absolute cracker it was. It wasn't really hard uh, to get out there and enjoy this scenery. Once we got to the camp, check out the view, no one there but us. A couple of blokes, a million miles of uh, beach and sunset, and in the morning, look at we got to see just glassed out conditions we were pumped 30 seconds into it drop the jigs down we're getting double head of goldies cranking over the side talk about excitement and it was on on like donkey kong 28 gram and 60 gram jigs just dropped off the bottom light gear 30 pound braid we caught everything on this trip we got Spaniards, look at this stomp, a big toothy bugger caught by Roe. Talk about happy boy, look at that. Saw a lot of rods bent and there was some quality too. Check out this trout, you don't get them that big in the Northern Territory and this one was a stonker. Look at the mouth on him, check this. Oh, can fit some food down there. Did have to wet the throat, got a bit thirsty pulling in all those fish. Because when you're pulling in fish like this, check out this dewy from Row. Can barely stand up at things bloody that heavy. Anyway, the jigs stood up well. Absolutely smashed them. Actually went up into the creeks and threw some vibes. These little soft vibes from Detonator got their fair share of baz, but conditions were good, so back to the goldies. The 60 gram jigs, five to eight metres of water. We saw a lot of bent rods. We saw a lot of stretched arms. There was braid getting pulled off everywhere. I almost got tipped out of the boat at this stage. Big GT's really turned on and uh, we really had our work cut out, I tell you. Old Ray Bags helped me net this one. Look at this. Just all muscle, these things. Absolutely pull cool like a train. And uh, not giving a little bit of a wash. Thanks for a nicer photo. There you go. With the sun sign coming off the side. These are the boats we went out in. 4.8 metre, not big boats, not overly expensive, just good quality boats. Make sure you do your pre trip checks and you can have a cracking trip like this as well. Beautiful campsite, sunsets. Next day woke up, went and hit the uh, headlands. Tried for a couple of cleanings and stuff. Again, more bent rods, sing and drags. Jeez, we had some fun out there. These little 28 gram jigs from Detonator, absolutely towered them up in the shallows. We got Todd, we got Jewies, we got Snapper, we got mother in law we got everything. So, <laughs> yeah, watch out for the snapping handbags if you go up there. But uh, this is what you can expect to see. Beautiful coastlines, remote beaches, no one around. Have a couple of brews on the water, but stay safe and remember, uh, get out there and have fun with your mates. These trips can be done by anyone. You've just got to do a little bit of pre-planning, do your homework, make sure you do it all right, look after each other. Get out there, live life, live to fish. Come check out our website, and thanks for watching today. This is us, Live to Fish. Come and have a look at liftofish.com.au. Thanks again.